you have a timetable but you don't have a routine i would like to start this video only with a single sentence and that is it depends upon you how you divide your entire day but since a lot of you requested me to make this video so i decided to make one this video will be really beneficial only if you follow the timetable provided by me consistently i don't think so in class 10th requirement of tuition is a must we'll be starting the day with mathematics and that is from 3 to 4 pm every day because the only thing it requires is practicing consistently after half an hour break you have to start up with physics or Or chemistry from 4:30 till 5:30. Try to give more times to the numericals in physics and the reactions in chemistry. Class in biology is really very limited, and you can do it four days in a week. Over here, try to give more attention to the diagram-based questions and the PYQs. That is, the previous year questions of biology get repeated a lot of times, so make sure you practice it as well. Again, after half an hour break, you have to start up with history or geography, and it should be done on alternative days. And make a habit of writing subheadings along with the headings in your history and civics answers. Since this video is based on the timetable part, therefore, I'm not gonna give you wider explanations about how to study, what to study. I've already made two videos based on the map work and the topography you may check it out then you have to directly start english literature from 7 to 7:30 told a million times in my previous videos that english is the main cause of degradation in literature you have to start practicing answer writing which involves quotations keywords and try to find the symbolism behind every poem in english language i have already made a video for class 10 students telling them what all mistakes you tend to make in the format part and in the grammar part you may check it out then you have to start up with english language from 7:30 till 8 o'clock you can practice english in alternative days and after that you can start up with computers from 8:30 till 9:30 हर किसी का कोई ना कोई सपना होता है जिसको हकीकत में बदलने के लिए हम पूरी सुबह शाम दिन रात मेहनत करते हैं और सोचिए कोई ऐसा मिल जाए जो हमारी सपनों की राह को पहले से ही आसान बना दे जो दे हमें आजादी हर मुश्किल को आसान करने की और नए सफर नए मंजिल की ओर बढ़ने की मैं बात कर रही हूँ एक ऐसे साथी जो हमेशा से देता आया है बच्चों को सपने देखने की आजादी लेकर आया है आप सभी के लिए ढेरों खास अभी इंडिपेंडेंस डे के मौके पर फिजिक्स वाला के सारे बैचेस में मिल रहा है बहुत भारी डिस्काउंट तो जल्दी करें आजादी के खास ऑफर का लाभ उठाएं और अपना करियर बेहतर बनाएं। पीडब्ल्यू लेकर आया है रेडियन बैच फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ आई सी एस बोर्ड इन विच यू विल गेट कम्प्लीट नाइन्थ फाउंडेशन आई सी एस सी बोर्ड एंड ओलम्पियाड बैच इसमें सिक्स डेज की स्केड्यूल क्लासेस होंगी क्लासेस विल बी लाइव एंड एक दिन में टू से लेकर थ्री क्लासेस होगी द कम्प्लीट कोर्स विल बी एक्सेसिबल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट अंटिल जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर यू विल बी प्रोवाइडेड बाई डेडिकेटेड सब्जेक्ट एक्सपर्ट फॉर सॉल्विंग योर डाउट्स थ्रू बेस्ट इन क्लास डाउट इंजिन ये बैच आपको फिफ्टीन ऑगस्ट के ऑफर में मिलेगा थ्री थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड नाइनटी नाइन का नहीं सिर्फ और सिर्फ टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड का एंड पी डब्ल्यू हैज अदर सरप्राइजेस फॉर यू ऑल इंडिपेंडेंस डे बिग सेल इज गोइंग ऑन पी डब्ल्यू स्टोर वो चेक इट आउट तो पी डब्ल्यू के कोर्सेज को परचेज करने के लिए डिस्क्रिप्शन में पी डब्ल्यू लिंक पर क्लिक करें एंड कोर्स को परचेज करने के लिए आप मेरा कूपन कोड यूज कर सकते हैं एम ओ एल एल बाई वन फिफ्टी फॉर इंस्टेंट डिस्काउंट ऑफ रुपीज वन फिफ्टी एंड इफ यू आर एन आई सी एस सी क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट यू कैन डेफिनेटली ज्वाइन द क्लास टेन विक्ट्री बैच डोंट मिस इट आउट I will try to provide you the PDF of these important programs. In both, we have really normal output questions. And in case you don't have any idea about the programs, then you may check it out from the PYQs. Try to compile every other program that you feel is important or any output question. Suppose this was my semester two uh, computers. In this booklet, I wrote a couple of important programs which I felt were important. And these were some output questions. I made the same booklet for chemistry as well. These notes might seem very fancy and time consuming but it's not the case. I have already made a video on how I take notes that are efficient, aesthetic and also less time consuming. The second last study session is of Hindi which is from 9:30 till 10 o'clock. If you are underestimating Hindi right now, let me tell you the significance. Hindi and computers are the only two subjects which are counted as individual top 5 subjects. Nowadays boards can ask you which are based question. In that question you have to give your opinion about that particular topic when you already know that Hindi is going to be a part of your top 5 list so why not to give it at least half an hour and then we start up with the last study session that is from 10 to 11 practicing a lot of previous year questions if you start from now you can really get good grades it will help you to know the format of the board paper and also some important questions some questions come in your board paper that is exactly from the previous year questions so if you have already done 10 years then go for 20 years to be honest you can make a better timetable for yourself than me giving you because you know your strengths and weaknesses in every other subject so the allotment of time 
totally depends upon you but this time table is perfectly made so that you can manage all your subjects all together in one day you still have five months for your board examination and this is the perfect time table and it will really help you in getting good marks if you follow it consistently but now the biggest question arises how will i be able to stay motivated to follow this timetable consistently it does not happens with everyone but a few of you might be stationary obsessed i'm not saying that buy expensive stationery but investment in education is better than investing in other useless things so it will be better if you invest in your stationery and in your education this is how you make your studying fun rewarding yourself after completion of a goal can help you in keeping yourself motivated for longer hours and one of my favorite method was to teach someone suppose there is a topic and i am explaining it to someone i have to put a lot more efforts like extra efforts to make that person understand so it will enhance my understanding as well you can also teach your friends in that way you will be able to revise things and it will also benefit your friend i was in class 10th when i did my first live sessions for class 10th only it might seem a little weird but i did these live sessions for two main reasons first reason was to share my knowledge with others and also to help them by providing some important questions that my school teachers gave me and second was to do my revision it was also kind of pressure on me to complete my revision on time so that i can do live the next day that's what i wanted to convey at first i thought studying online is not really effective but then i tried once and seeing others studying made me also motivated to study like there are many apps where you can study with students worldwide one example is study stream at the last i hope that you will be following the timetable i gave you to be honest there is no use of making timetables and all because it depends upon you how you study that is how effectively you study but because this video had a great demand so i decided to upload it but trust me this timetable video will be beneficial to you only if you follow it try it for one month and see the results that was all for the video guys like this video subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for latest updates i'll be back with more class 10th and 9th videos and 11th videos so yeah stay tuned